welcome to another slow travel vlog. Right now I'm at my friend's house in Vienna and tonight I'm gonna get the sleeper train from Vienna to Amsterdam. The train leaves at around 8.15 and arrives in Amsterdam at like 10.20. I actually can't remember what kind of bed I got tonight so I don't know whether I'm in like a four person couchette or a six person couchette so that's gonna be interesting to see. But for now I need to head to the station. So I'm at the main station now. My train leaves in like half an hour or just under half an hour. I think I'm gonna go and check out the lounge. I'm pretty sure there's a lounge here that you can use if you've booked a bed on a sleeper train. Last time I thought that though, it didn't turn out like that. I'm still gonna try, we'll see. So I think that I'm the only one in here tonight. When I came in, there was just one water bottle and one amenities bag. So when you get into your cabin, the attendant will give you one of these if you're in one of these sleeping compartments. And it's basically your breakfast option. I think you can pick like six options. So there's like fruit tea, coffee, hot chocolate, and then there's like two Viennese rolls and then you can have a few different things with that like bread, jam, honey. So you mark down what you want and then you give it back to the attendant and then you have your breakfast in the morning. Okay, this is the amenities bag. We've got slippers, obviously my favorite, a towel, more water, already had a water bottle when I got in, nuts. I think these are like sweets, but yeah, basically more snacks. Oh my God, focus, earplugs and pen. The woman just came in to give me this as well, which is kind of cute. Probably won't drink it, but I'll bring it to my friends in Amsterdam. <laughs> So basically when you come into the cabin, there's three seats and then at some point the attendant will come and turn the seats into a bed and either it'll just be one bed or it can actually have three. So um, there's one here, this turns into a bed and then there's the one at the top. There's a wash basin here with soap and shelves, which is really nice and a mirror. There's a bin there. There's temperature controls up there. And I think you can also control the volume of the, the announcements in the night. So you can make sure that they're quiet if you don't want to be woken up by that. There's only one charger. I think there should be more than one charger, especially if you're sharing with two strangers. There's storage. There's storage up there. And then at the end of the corridor, there is a toilet with a shower, which I'll show you in a bit. There's an intercom thing here so I think that's if you need to speak to the attendant. There's night lights here for each of the beds. Oh. The attendant's so nice, she just came in and gave me an extra bottle of Prosecco and she also confirmed that it is just me in here for the night which I'm I'm kind of happy about. Um, and she showed me the door locking mechanism because basically get given one of these for your room and so if you want to go to the toilet in the night you need to take that with you because the door locks you close the door behind you it'll just lock automatically also there's hangers here so you can hang up your coats or dresses or whatever she also told me that i am sleeping down here and that she's going to come and turn the seats into a bed at 10 o'clock 20 to 9 now so i'm gonna read i'm reading the third book in the elena ferrante series and it is so intense let me know if you've read this book i'm not gonna give any spoilers but i've got to the last like 30 pages and uh yeah, it's pretty overwhelming.
about 8 a.m. We've stopped at Holm West station and we've been stopped here for like 10 minutes or so. So I don't know if they're like changing something around or. But I slept pretty well. I, I feel like I always wake up a few times on sleeper trains, but last night for some reason it was actually really nice, like waking up and then going back to sleep. Also, these beds are really comfortable. They're probably the best beds that I've slept on on a sleeper train. And it was the same beds that we had from Brussels to Vienna. I went to sleep at like 11, and then the train stopped at like quarter past 11 or so and the border police came on the train so that's actually something I haven't really spoken about in these videos basically on international sleeper trains there's random border checks if you're unlucky in the middle of the night border police will come on the train and will knock on your door and ask for your passport so a good tip is just like have your passport handy like don't have it in your suitcase you know stored up ahead or something obviously that's quite an unpleasant thing having police knock on your door in the middle of the night and asking for your passport and i understand that the police have different connotations for different people um so it's just something that yeah people should be aware of that can happen it doesn't always happen it hasn't happened on any of the previous sleeper trains i've been on where i filmed and i think last night we were quite lucky because it was it wasn't like 3 a.m it was 20 past 11. yeah still it's not a pleasant thing Okay, so I'm pretty sure the train is delayed. We were supposed to arrive at like 10.23 and it is 10.37 and we're just arriving at Utrecht. But yeah, it hasn't actually said how long we're delayed by, which is kind of annoying. But it's quite nice to have some extra time to chill in the cabin. We'll see what time we actually arrive. Okay, so we've just arrived and we are, I don't know why I keep saying we, it's just me. <laughs> so we were supposed to arrive at 10.23 and it's um, almost quarter past 11. So almost an hour late, which isn't great and no explanation. So that was a bit weird. Overall, really comfortable experience. I love sleeper trains, obviously, so no surprise. I had a good time. I'll put more details of the journey below. And if you want to see the video of my friend and I going from Brussels to Vienna on the sleep train, where we shared the cabin with a lovely French woman, um, I'll link it somewhere here. But otherwise, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.